You can create a new landing page by going to the Landing Pages section of your account and then choose Create Landing Page. From there, you can browse through all the different templates you have available. So they're going to be organized by the goal of the page, whether it's specific to signups and registrations, or maybe that's featuring more prominently some downloads or some videos. You can browse through all of the templates you have here or view all of them, of course, at once. And you can also build one up from scratch if you want to put the elements together yourself and customize the design in that way. But let's go ahead and choose a template that we'd like to try and customize for this example. So I'll choose this one. So we need to give it a name. This is internal, only you'll see it. So I can do, you know, new school signups as an example. So you can see the template in a little bit more detail here, as well as the thank you page. So the page that uh, everyone will see after they submit uh, the form on this particular page. So we'll click next step. And this will load the landing page editor. And so we'll be able to see here that on this top menu bar, we've got some options I'll quickly go through. And so variant A is the main version of the page. And because you can create multiple variations of the page if you want to run some A-B tests to be able to see you know, which version uh, you know, performs better for you. And so if you wanted to be able to see, you know, for example, which button CTA uh, you know, converts people better. So let's go could be one. But then for the, you know, another form, we could say, you know, sign up today. And so we'd be able to test, for example, which page gets us more signups, and we could be able to surmise, uh, you know, which you know kind of wording is working better with our audience or not. And so you can play around with the different uh, variations of your page uh, to be able to see what's working best. But then you can also just delete this variation if you don't actually need it in this example. And then thank you page is again what people are going to see whenever they submit the form. And so if you want people to be able to go to this uh, view after they sign up rather than a different URL on your website, make sure you customize this as well, uh, you know, for what it is that you want people to see. So, you know, uploading your own logo, you know, updating all of this template information, just as we'll be doing on this uh, version as well. And then additionally throughout this menu bar, this is us working on the desktop version of the page. And this is the mobile editor. Uh, so you can actually tweak the way that the page will look on mobile devices. So I would recommend to go ahead and you know customize this template uh, as you want on this version. And then whenever you're pretty much finished, you can go to this mobile version. And automatically it will format the elements you have uh, within the page into a handy mobile view. But then you could tweak things uh, specific to mobile. So for example, you don't want particular elements to be included in the mobile version. They're not necessary. They're taking up too much space. You could hide it, for example, from the mobile version. But of course, it would still exist on the uh, desktop version. And so these minor tweaks you do won't necessarily change things for the desktop version. But if they do, you'll see such uh, indications here that you want to see how this has affected the desktop version. So this is something I would recommend doing when you're pretty much finished with the overall customization of the page. So back to this view, you can also see the button here for preview. So you could preview what this will look like once it's published in both uh, desktop mobile versions. Access the HTML code. This settings gear is where you can add the uh, meta title and description, but you also have an opportunity to do that in the next step as well. And you can upload some uh, an image, for example, a thumbnail, which you want people to see whenever they share this URL of the landing page somewhere. And of course, you can save it, save and exit, or save this as a template along the way. And the next step is whenever we're finished actually customizing this design and this page, and we're ready to uh, configure all the final settings. This menu bar here is all of the you know design and you know page layout elements that we have available for us. So this is going to be what's called a section right here, because the page is uh, laid out within the editor within sections that we can see kind of horizontally here. And so if you want to add another section to this template, all you need to do is drag it and drop it. And then you can see this blue highlight that indicates that uh, it's being added here. And then you'll be able to add additional um, you know, content within this page template or simply delete it. You'll be able to see that you can expand existing sections of the page or you know, change the size of them as well. And so managing your sections in the layout of your page is going to be really helpful as well. This refers to text. If you want to add additional text to your page, for example, let's say we've, we've expanded this section a bit and we need a bit more copy here, we can just drag and drop more text and then double click. We have all of our editing options for this particular uh, element. And then anytime we don't want it or we want to duplicate it, we can just choose that. 
this little trash can to get rid of it. This refers to the image, so you can add additional image to your uh, landing page, give ourselves some more space by dragging and dropping, and then simply choosing to edit it or replace it as you would like with you know your own image. You can add another button if you want. And you could actually add a button that anchors to a particular uh, page, a, a section on this page, which is pretty cool. And so since the page, as we saw, is laid out by sec those horizontal sections, if you want, let's say, for example, you have a horizontal form on the very top section, and you want this final button to say, you know, sign up now, you could actually, you know, link it to section one, and so that whenever someone clicks this button, it automatically scrolls up to this section one here, uh, for example, where they could play a video or submit the form. So that's a very handy little tip to know. Or, of course, you can just, you know, um, link it to a specific web address if you want someone to go to a particular page on your website, for example. So that's a handy thing to know. This is where you can choose from the different forms. All of the templates, of course, do come with a, a form on them already that you can customize by adding additional uh, fields to them if you want. So you can edit the form that's already on the page, or you can drag over another form, or if you'd like to actually implement a pop-up form, we can just put it right here, for example, drag it and drop it, and then we can choose from an exit pop-up or you know a standard pop-up sign-up form, download form, so you can see the additional options you have. So you could choose an exit pop-up, in addition to this uh, standard form we have here, we could also have an exit pops up, pop up that comes up if someone is attempting to leave just to say, hey, wait a second. And then you can customize this form just like you have the other uh, options as well and set up the settings uh, for that as well. So that's a way how you could actually add a, a pop up form or an additional type of uh, form to the page. These refers to shapes, so just graphic elements if you want to be able to add those to the page. This is a very cool option, which is the countdown timer. So if you want to you know, increase some interest and urgency uh, for whatever it is you're offering on this page, you can simply select a countdown timer to count down uh, to some specific uh, time date and time zone uh, and be able to you know, increase some urgency for whatever it is you're offering on the page, which is pretty handy as well. This is where you can add a video to the page. And so if you drag it and drop it over, you'll be able to see by double clicking, input the uh, URL that you want to uh, feature on the page and customize it that way. And finally, there is as well our uh, social media integrations, PayPal integration, and also some custom code. And so if you wanted to actually uh, put some, um, as you can see, you can add HTML, CCS, or JavaScript to the page. For example, some different widgets or uh, plugins that you have you'd like to feature on the page. For example, like, you know, maybe a song uh, from SoundCloud or something. That's an example that you could do with that. And one thing I did forget is the webinar here. I skipped over that really quickly. And so if you would like to, for this page to actually be promoting a webinar within your GetResponse account that you're promoting, what you would do here is you wouldn't necessarily need a sign-up form but you could go ahead and move this webinar and you can see it pulls from webinars that you have within your account or if you don't have one set up yet uh, it would prompt you to do that uh, as well as that pop-up was showing me that I need to go create actually a webinar in my account but what you would do is go ahead and have a webinar scheduled in your account and then you could drag and drop over this icon here and be able to use this landing page to actually uh, you be what you promote your webinar with and people can sign up for this webinar uh, directly from within your page. And so I'll just move this back over here just for a quick example since I deleted that form. And let's say now we're good to go and pretend that I optimize it for mobile just for the interest of time. And let's go to next step. I can just proceed without the mobile version for this example because I told you uh, how to do that previously. And so here we just need to put in the SEO settings, so the page title and description. For example, if people, uh, you know, if your page came up in, you know, search engine results, that's what they would see there. So, you know, don't miss our summer session. And you can see a bit more information here about, uh, you know, what's helpful to put in the description. This is just for the interest of time, we'll move forward. And you set up the landing page URL settings. You can use a get response subdomain. Uh, if you don't have your own uh, domain or you don't want to use your own domain for this instance, or assign your own domain. And so you can see that I have one that I haven't verified yet as, an, as just an example here. 
And you can add a new domain just like this. And so enter in the information here and click Add Domain. But it's important to visit the uh, help uh, articles that we have right here to learn exactly how to change your DNS settings in your website's backend or adding a CNAME entry if you'd like to be able to assign this page to your own domain or subdomain. Finally, you can configure the subscription settings. And so which list in your GetResponse account should these people be added to whenever they submit the form that's on your, uh, that you've included on the page? if you want confirmed opt-in enabled or not, if they should be added to a, a cycle, uh, the autoresponder cycle whenever they sign up or not, and then again that thank you page. And so this default thank you page refers to the uh, one that we were able to customize the design in within the editor, or we can choose a custom thank you page and input our own URL, or they can stay on the current page, uh, the, the landing page itself. You also have additional analytics and remarketing and AdWords options here if you'd like to be able to uh, add that in. So that's up to you completely if you want to do that. And once everything's good to go, all of your settings, you just click publish. It saves all of it and then you can see, well done, our landing page is live and we can view it at this URL or create another page or manage our pages. So it's as easy as that to be able to uh, create, customize, and publish your own landing page.